David here with Fig Boot on Pens. Today I have something a little bit different and a little bit special and something I think you'll enjoy. Um, that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some of the parts and features of this pen and talk about some of the things I care for and don't care for and provide some measurements, uh, size comparisons, and then provide a writing sample. And then in addition, I have a giveaway. So stay tuned for that as well. Uh, there is a, a world-renowned Japanese filmmaker by the name of Hayao Miyazaki. Um, Miyazaki leads the team at Studio Ghibli uh, in Japan, and they have a very unique animation style, and there is just something inherently cool about a Studio Ghibli production. Uh, you know you're going to see something very special, and you don't need to be into anime or manga or be a kid to enjoy his films because they truly are some of the best animated films ever made. And his latest film uh, is called The Wind Also Rises. Supposedly it might be his last, but with Miyazaki, you never really know. Uh, what, that he came out with a film uh, in the 1980s called My Neighbor Totoro, and I have a pen that is based on that film. My Neighbor Totoro is a film that tells the adventure of two girls and their interaction with forest spirits. There's a big cuddly monster named Totoro and even a cat bus that takes them places. Uh, it's a very special film for the entire family. Uh, a while back, I was looking for unique pens and came across a Totoro fountain pen on Etsy, offered by a woman named Liz on her Etsy shop called Traveler HK, which uh, I will link to in the video description below. And here is the pen. Uh, it is a, a Korean brand made in China, and on the back here, you can see that there's a, a number of instructions, and it's actually written in, in Mandarin. And I had a friend translate the back here, and somewhere on the back, it, it says officially licensed. Now, with branded merchandise like this coming out of China, at times the authenticity can be a little sketchy, but as far as I can tell, it is legit. So, we'll take a look at some of the uh, parts of this pen. Uh, it does come with six cartridges, which is very nice. And here is the pen. Uh, that it is um, very light and it is plastic. Uh, and it actually comes in four different uh, colors, which we'll take a look at here in just a little bit. Um, here on the end, you can tell that uh, it has a hole for a lanyard and the clip is fairly sturdy. I'm sure that obviously it's plastic. I could break it if I wanted to, but I think it's sturdy enough. And then it's hard to tell, but in uh, in Japanese it actually has Totoro written here on the uh, on the front. Uh, and then the there is a slight step down, uh, and then there is the barrel which tapers down slightly, and then has a, a curved ending here. Uh, and then on the barrel is a picture of the film that uh, from the film that is wrapped on here. You can snap off the cap and here underneath we have a nice little nib and you can see here that the nib has a, a little happy face on it. It kind of reminded me of the Pilot Kakuno. Uh, here's a picture comparing the two of those smiley faces. Uh, you can see here the nose on the Totoro pen isn't uh, uh, the feeder hole like it is on the Kakuno. Uh, and then here's a picture of the, the solid feed as well. Uh, then there is a, a clear plastic section, and which is actually very comfortable to hold. Uh, the pen is very, very light, uh, and it does take uh, cartridges. And you can unscrew it, and there is the cartridge. And as I mentioned, it comes with six cartridges. And, you know, for the life of me, I cannot figure out what brand these cartridges are. Um, I, I tried, uh, it doesn't take Standard International, it doesn't take uh, some of the other proprietary brands, like it doesn't take a Sailor or, um, or a Pilot or even a uh, Platinum, it, none of those fit in there. So um, there's a possibility that uh, the only thing that you have are these six cartridges, uh, but if that is the case and we can't find it, you can't find anything else that, uh, uh, that will fit in there, you could always uh, refill one of these cartridges. Uh, but these pens are fairly inexpensive. They retail for $5 and uh, like $5.50, $5.69, something along those lines. Um, 
the 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 pen is very comfortable and as we'll see in the writing sample um, for a pen that's under six dollars it actually writes very very well uh, and that these puns at pens actually come in four different varieties they come in a blue then here is a purple then it also comes in a pink and then also a green these are, are very cute pens that would be very good for kids uh, if it's their very first fountain pen or even if they've used fountain pens before. Um, or something like I have is I just have it lying around on my desk and it's kind of your knockabout pen that, uh, that's just sitting around on my desk. Uh, and it's kind of nice to remind you of a, a very cool movie. Um, I had purchased a few of these pens on my own uh, to give away to family and that uh, I had contacted Liz and she was kind enough to send me uh, a few more to give away to viewers. So I actually have three to give away. I have a purple one and a, uh, a pink one and a blue one to give away. So all you need to do to enter the contest is to be, one, is to be a subscriber to my channel, and two, is just to leave a comment below in YouTube. Uh, maybe you could also tell me what your favorite uh, Miyazaki film and why it's spirited away. But seriously, uh, if you're looking to explore some of Miyazaki's films, I would highly recommend Spirited Away, uh, there's Howl's Moving Castle, uh, My Neighbor Totoro, obviously, uh, and then even Kiki's Delivery Service, all of which are, are very good films that, in my opinion, uh, everyone in your entire family can enjoy. Um, if you're interested in these pens, please check out the link to Liz's shop in Etsy. Uh, the, there's a link in the video description below. So now what we'll do is I'm going to show some measurements, do some size comparisons, and then provide a writing sample. So here we go with some size comparisons for the Totoro fountain pen. I really don't know the manufacturer of this pen, so I don't know if it really matters, but um, you can get a better idea and see some of the, uh, the writing that's on there. And here in uh, Japanese it says Totoro, and then it says Totoro here as well. But here's some size comparisons. Uh, here it is with a Pilot Metropolitan, if I can get them to sit there. Then uh, here it is with the uh, Pilot Kakuno that we were comparing the nibs for. And then here it is with a Lamy All-Star. And then some things out of the price range. Uh, here it is with a Visconti Homo Sapiens and a Pelican M1000. And then a, uh, a Mont Blanc 146. So, what we have here is a Totoro, we'll just call it a Totoro pen. And uh, the nib doesn't have a size on it, but I would call it a medium nib. And uh, it's just a black ink. So we will just say, kind of a nondescript black ink, which is isn't that bad. So here we go with a writing sample. Um, the one thing that I was really impressed with this pen um, is actually the quality of the writing. Uh, that it actually writes very well for a you know five dollar pen. Uh, obviously, you're not going to get a lot of line variation out of here. I really don't want to push this. It's not the thickest of nibs, and I think it would be very easy to uh, to spring that. But it lays down a, a decent line, and I have I've had no issues with um, with any skips or hard starts or anything along those lines. And it's not super wet but it, uh, it lays down a really nice line. And in regard to reverse writing, 
uh, it does very well. It's fairly smooth and uh, uh, and it's not that much different than the uh, the regular line it lays down. So let's see how it does in regard to some fast writing. It keeps up just fine. So this performs very well. So if you're looking for a fun little pen for yourself, uh, or whether it's for yourself or even a, a kid in your family or uh, something you'd like to give away, then this Totoro pen is a decent choice. Um, don't forget to take a look at uh, Liz's shop on Etsy. The link is down below in the comments. Uh, and that don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to enter the giveaway, remember to leave a comment on YouTube. Um, I didn't mention it previously, but today is May 7th, uh, 2016, and the, the contest will go on uh, through Wednesday, May 11th. So just make sure you leave your comment sometime before the end of that day. Uh, and sometime soon after that, I will randomly choose three winners and then contact you through YouTube and randomly send you out one of these pens. Just to show you a little closer up, this is what the packaging looks like sideways so it can fit into the screen. But um, that I look forward to giving those away and I think that uh, whoever gets them will, uh, will actually enjoy them because they're pretty nice little pens. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later.